What is going on, everyone? And welcome on into today's video. We are going to be doing a complete walkthrough tutorial of Robinhood as we are now into 2023. A few months in, we want to cover essentially everything that this platform has to offer. We have some other videos on the Robinhood playlist that might go into depth on certain specifics, but this video will be a great base and it will be a great place to start if you are new to Robinhood or if you're someone who has heard about it, maybe you have an account, but you just don't know what it truly has to offer outside of a couple features that you tend to use on you know, your daily or weekly or monthly basis, whatever that time frame may be. So there'll be some timestamps down below in the description box uh, along this video if you want to jump to a couple different points. But what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much go through from the top down everything that we've got access to here on Robinhood. Now, this that we're looking at right now, this is the web app version. So your mobile app on your phone will be very, very similar, but it will be on your phone. You can pretty much do everything on the web app. And there's actually a couple of things that you can do here that you can't do on your phone. So we'll cover a bunch of that stuff as we get going. Hope you guys get something out of this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe here to the TC Trading channel. And if, we, if you got any other questions, Leave them down below along the way. Happy to answer them or even make future videos uh, that kind of answer those questions. That's the whole point of this channel. Okay. So first things first, if you don't have a Robinhood account, there'll be a link down below, I think, to check it out and sign up if you want to uh, or Robinhood.com and you're good to go or just download the app from the app store uh, and it's pretty straightforward. We've got, they've got a bunch of ads out these days, even on TV that I've seen over the years. So right here, here's kind of like our home page. Um, it's if I click on the investing tab, that's what's going to come to this page. I'm looking at the past month in this portfolio that I've got here on Robinhood. And there's about, you know, almost $10,000 here. And we're actually on some margin. I want to cover that as well. But first things first, you know, you can kind of hover over and check the time frames. go to your live, you know, minute by minute, what's your portfolio doing, you know, week by week, month by month, you know, past three months, how's it done? All these different things, which is pretty cool. Year to date, you know, it's up 26% year to date. Killer, right? This portfolio is doing really nice, right? So all these different things, you can kind of check the performance of your portfolio. And it will adjust if you take money out, put money in. It will adjust. It will not, you know, add, you know, let's say I add $1,000. It's not going to just add, you know, an extra 10% to my portfolio and say, hey, I did 30-something percent this year. No, no, no. It will adjust based off of what you've deposited and based off the returns that your investments and your strategies and your trades have achieved. Okay. So there's that right off the bat. The next thing I want to pull down is the buying power. So if I click on this, you'll get more insight. It says that I have $2,647 and 79 cents of buying power. So I have no cash. I have 8,800 or almost $8,900 of margin available. I've used about $6,200 of margins. I'm using right now, as I speak, a decent amount of margin, and I've got some pending orders, and I've got remaining buying power of this much. So all you need to know from this is like this buying power is like, what if I want to go buy stocks right now, that's what I could buy. And the thing is, you got to pay attention to margin. Now, if you have Robinhood Gold, okay, which is their $5 a month as of right now, uh, extra piece to Robinhood. Uh, you can pay five bucks a month. They'll give you a thousand dollars of margin for free, no interest, but the additional margin you use, you are paying interest on that. Now the margin rates, I believe as of right now are around 7.5%, if I'm not mistaken, but that, that rate does change. So you know, Robinhood will email you. There'll be updates to this. You can look deeper and we'll get to those points in the portfolio, but we're using this portfolio to pretty much show you like, you know, as a guide, like, you know, what do we have here, right? Uh, and, and what are the different features and, and things you can get access to and what you can do on Robinhood? So pay attention to that. We'll go deeper as we get into other por portions of the top uh, bar. We'll find more information on this margin, the current interest, and all that stuff. But if I want to deposit funds, there'll be an option right there. Connect my bank account. Super easy to do. And then this borrowing limit right here, if I, you know, want to max myself out at, hey, I don't want to use, you know, more than, let's say, $1,000 of margin, because I know that that $1,000 of margin on Robinhood Gold is free, there's no interest on it, then I can max it out and it'll cap me. It will not allow me to borrow more. I don't have that right now, 
but that's an option for you. That's what that means. This is on a margin account. We've actually got a video on the channel covering how to change your account over to a cash account. And if you do that, you're not going to have to worry about essentially day trades. Like you can day trade as much as you want, but you just won't have access to margin. So there's, you know, good and bad, I guess. So there's positives, there's negatives, uh, give and take when it comes to the cash versus the, the margin account. This is a margin account. So underneath here, there'll be a trending list option. So they give you some more information here about what this trending list is, but it's essentially going to highlight some different sectors that you can kind of dive into that are trending and that people are paying attention to. So right now, the 100 most popular stocks or ETFs, check it out. Uh, you can see that here is where people are essentially trading. People are looking at these and these are the most common stocks in Robin of portfolios or they're actually, as of right now, they're the most commonly held by Robinhood customers, okay? So it's kind of interesting to see this and you know, there's more data. You can change this to price points, change this to the past you know, year, you know, look at different things like small caps, mid caps, large caps, if stocks are going up or down, you know, analyst ratings. There's a lot of ways to customize this, but um, that's essentially right there. Uh, one of the features that you have at your disposal here on Robin. I go back to the investing side and we're back to this page. Just something I figure I mentioned. They've got some of these down here, the tickers, S&P, the NASDAQ, and then what Bitcoin's up to as of right now. And they've got some news. So they'll pop some articles up here, easy access. You can click into some of these and just you know figure out what's going on, whether it's a certain sector or a certain stock or market news overall. It's kind of useful stuff. They've got a section down here called Daily Movers. Stocks making the biggest moves as of right now. We got some big ones that are down a lot right here. If I were to go and expand this, go to show more for Daily Movers, just like we can do there, we can filter this and I'm gonna go to rising past one day. And now go back in here and you'll see some of the biggest, or the biggest risers of the past day, right? You see they're up 20%, 18%, you know, all these different stocks. So good stuff to pay attention to. Um, again, data that people maybe don't use too, too much, but it's here. It's, it's here and it's, you know, you can use it with a, with a Robinhood account, more news as you scroll down, you know, this news can kind of go on and on and on forever. And uh, it goes back the past couple of days based off what I see right now. So that's like kind of your front page. Now I want to kind of cover this on the right-hand side and we'll cover this really quick. So the first thing is going to show me my option positions. Okay. I can now change and display it by today's return, total return, my equity, last price if I wanted to. I don't really care. It doesn't really, I don't have a ton of positions in this account, so it's not like it's a huge deal. But these cells are, are options that I sold. So these are covered calls that I sold. Uh, if you know what covered calls are, I think we've got some videos on the channel actually, if you don't. But if you, if you know what those are, essentially I own 100 shares at least of the underlying stocks. So TMF is a uh, leverage ETF. AGQ is also a leverage ETF. Uh, they both do, or they both are for different things. TMF is leveraged off of TLT and AGQ is a silver leverage exposure. So I sell covered calls there and those essentially are what cash flows me every single week or every month or every couple of weeks. You can kind of sell whatever time frame you would like to, uh, depending upon if the option chain has availability um, and you can sell them out and as long as the stock doesn't close above $11 on TMF and above 37 by the 21st of April, then these are going to expire worthless. But the thing is I sold them. So I'm going to collect that premium that I sold it for and not have to do anything. I just get paid. So what this is for me is it's a way to kind of go a little bit deeper into margin at times. Now, am I going to go off on huge amounts of margin all the time? No, you're just kind of catching the portfolio at a time where we've got a decent amount of margin, right? And it allows me to kind of minimize the margin hit actually many times make more money by utilizing margin and then selling covered calls. So the interest rate that I'm paying is actually not, is not sucking more money out of my account than what I'm paying myself through some of these covered call strategies. So it's something to think about. It's a way to play it. And that's kind of what I do in this portfolio um, with a couple thousand dollars. MRO, it's a put position that I have. Uh, Oxy is a debit spread put that I have. And uh, those are there. And cryptocurrencies, I don't really know why. I, I just, apparently I have like, 
the tiniest amount of Ethereum in here, which is why it shows up on that page. I really don't have any of it. I essentially have zero in the account, but technically I, I do own some. I uh, haven't been able to, for whatever reason, sell it. I guess I'd have to buy some more and then sell it all because you can't sell such a small amount of it, I believe, as of right now. Then it goes into stocks and all that great stuff. Now, if I click into, I'll do it here. I can click into the option. It'll do the same thing. If I click into one of these stocks, so for example, JEPI, this is like the core of this portfolio. This is an income ETF. What they essentially do is sell covered calls, kind of like what I do on other stocks. They'll sell covered calls on a big collection of stocks, and they have a very diverse portfolio of some of the higher dividend paying stocks and a lot of stocks in the Dow and just across the S&P as well. So there's a lot of, of, a lot of variance to what they have and diversification in this portfolio, but I have a pretty nice chunk in here and I want the reason why is like I wanted to get over 100 shares since in case I want to sell covered calls. And now what I've got here is a couple different things. So I want to detail this. So this is kind of like the page. If I click into a position that I have, it'll pull up the stock ticker, okay, or the name of the stock. The ticker symbol will be up here on the right. I could buy, I could sell. Obviously, if I didn't have any shares, I wouldn't really be selling my my JEPI. But here is where things get interesting. There's a lot to do. And there's a lot to unpack. So this is where like a, a decent chunk of the video is going to be focused because this is something that's important. So my market value of my position is right down here. Okay, today's return tells me the last day the market was open, what it did. My total return is now up 5.27%. This is an example of a position that's like the core of the portfolio. This is a long-term position. I'm looking at this position to be a cash flow machine a kind of buy and hold, slowly dollar cost average in. And there's a couple ways we're doing that. So total return, it tells you right here, the dollar amount and the percentage. We've got my average cost right here, 51.62. It's currently at 54 bucks. I have 107.7 shares. The reason why I have 0.715 is because you can buy fractional shares on Robinhood. There's actually, it should be a video on the channel already covering that in depth if you are looking for that specifically, but it's pretty straightforward. When you go to buy shares, you click on buy, go to shares, or I go to dollars. Simply, it can go to dollars and say, I want to buy $5 worth. Boom. Now it's going to estimate it's going to buy 0 0.09 shares. Done. Simple, easy as that. So you can play it both ways. Um, if you want to buy fractional shares, essentially just put in however much money you can, and they'll give you the exposure. So you don't have to really worry about like, oh, I don't have a full share. No, it doesn't matter. You can do that these days. And you'll still get the exposure, you'll still get the dividends, all that great stuff. So tells me now my portfolio diversity, div, my portfolio diversity. So 36% of the portfolio is this. And I think that that's pretty good because this is a very, the, the, the position is diversified as, as in of itself. And I want this to be a pretty big piece of the portfolio because I want this to cash flow me every month. And I want to be able to sell covered calls potentially on it if I can uh, every month as well to make a few extra bucks. Not going to make a ton of money on that, but I could sell some far out the money covered calls and maybe cash flow an extra couple of dollars here and there every month. And hey, that money can get reinvested right back in. So to go ahead and buy, now we're on this page. How do you buy a stock, right? We kind of just basically covered that. But right here, top buy or sell, buy right here. Now it says order type buy with a limit. There's actually a video covering order types on the channel. And I keep saying that, but again, this is something that we will cover here, but we have other videos going in depth. So this is a great resource for free if you guys want to check that out in the future. But see how it says buy limit. It'll explain to you what a limit order is. Essentially, I'm setting the price that I want to buy it at. Okay. So if I'm going to buy in share, so I want to buy one share of JEPI. And you know what? I may as well just go do this right now to show you guys how it works. So market price right now is roughly here. The market's actually closed when I do this. So it's going to put this order out and fill it next week. Click on review. Okay. And it's going to essentially give me a summary of what's happening. Okay. And I click on this. I can edit it, go back to that same page. Or if I'm good, click on buy. It's going to confirm my login information. So I'm going to click on that, continue it. And then I'm going to log in through the Authenticator app. And now I am good. See, my order is queued for when the market is now open next Monday. Cool. So it's simple, pretty easy to do. And uh, I'm just going to be slowly stacking more shares. That's what I want to do. Slowly stack more shares of JEPI. And that's going to pay me a bigger dividend over time.
Okay, so there's that. I'll want to cover more details here in a second. So there's how that works. Uh, if I go to the top right, this little drop down arrow, this is where you can go and actually put in multiple types of orders. So there's limit orders, buy order for more market orders, stop loss, stop limit, trailing stop, recurring investment. I actually have this set up. Now, click on that, and it's essentially going to put this page in front of me, right? Start on whatever date, the frequency. I select the frequency of when I want to do this. Payments right here comes out of my buying power. If you click on that, it'll have the option to pull out of your bank account that you've connected. So that's an option as well. And then backup, I can pull up a backup from my bank account if I want to make sure that this always goes through. If I don't have the buying power, it just won't go through. I'll be alerted by Robinhood that, hey, you didn't have the buying power and we could not process your request for this recurring investment. So get out of this, go back to the buy order scrolling down on this page okay it will now have my upcoming activity if there is any upcoming activity is i have a buy that i just put in right now that will buy that one share next week okay going down right here this is the recurring investment piece this is what i have i have it set to 50 dollars every month on the first of the month it will automatically buy on the first of the month Okay, and so look at this. Uh, this is actually really cool stuff. So it tells my average price, the current price of this, of the stock. It tells my first order was back on February at this price. You invested $50 last month and, and 150 bucks or 2.7 shares since your first order. So it gives you some insight as to what the recurring investments without you having to think, come in here, put your orders in, what it will actually do for you. It says I'm gonna invest $600 uh, by February 1st, 2024, which will be next year, if I continue this recurring investment. And that gives me some more information. Uh, I can now end it, I can pause it, or I can edit it, make it larger, smaller, whatever. Okay, so pretty cool stuff, right? Then there's the about page. We'll kind of show you or share what the stock or ETF or whatever you're looking at is about what they have. And it gives me what's inside this fund down here. So some more good information. It gives you the top 10 holdings of the fund, and um, it's pretty good. Key stats down here as we scroll down, check this out. Pretty important stuff to look at too, because now we've got all this other information, highs, lows, all this price to earnings, average volume, 30 day yield, expense ratios. There's more information and, and good stuff to look at here. Then you've got your history. You can actually show more and go back through the entire history of your dealings with this stock. And then it gives you some other recommendations and good stuff. Margin requirements are down here. Average annual returns since May 20th of 2020 is around 12.85. That's fair enough. The market's generally been up since then, right? So that's why we're going to see an average of 12.85. It's a pretty big dividend payer as well, and it does pay monthly. So that's another factor to think about as well. So that's that whole page. Um, hopefully that makes some sense. Any questions, again, leave them in the comment section down below. This is what you need to know, what you've got access to. On top of this page, there's still more. We've got a video covering the Roth IRA because Robinhood just recently added the retirement accounts to their platform. So I'm in my brokerage. If I was in my Roth IRA, it would tell me if I had any positions. I don't have a position in this stock. So when I click on that Roth IRA, nothing shows up. Okay. Back on this page, this little setting option right down here on the chart, click on this. I can have it show extended hours, turn that on or off. I wanna have it on. And then some more information. So it's not much on the chart settings. This right here is a new feature that they actually just rolled out, I believe recently in and of itself. This little notification bell. This is JEPI custom price alerts. So for whatever stock you're looking at, the custom price alerts. So you can have custom alerts for this specific stock, okay? These will be sent out as push notifications to your phone. Make sure you allow notification to on the Robinhood app in settings. We'll send each alert at most once per day, okay? Price moves above blank. Click on this, I turn that on. I can now have it set to, let's say when the price goes above 60 bucks, I wanna be alerted. Cool, I don't really care on this position. Price moves below, let's say 50 bucks, alert me. And I can save that. So these are new features, simple stuff that you can now add to Robinhood uh, or to your platform, to the stocks you're holding. 
just like anything else. So just like other platforms, more advanced platforms that will have those price alerts, you now have custom price alerts. In the past, Robinhood would have these, these alerts that would allow you to kind of see, okay, my stock's up 5%, it's up 10% today, but it wouldn't allow you to have specific price points. Now they do, which is a cool feature that they've added. So there's that. Okay, so the next piece is this advanced chart. We've actually uh, also covered this in a specific video, but this is a new update as well. Go to advanced charts. This is something you cannot do on the phone, I believe as of right now, uh, that may change, but they've actually allowed you to add indicators. So I have the price right here. I can actually change this in the top right to candlesticks. So I can see candlesticks with the past couple of days. I have it at the one month chart. I can go back over the past three months, the past one year, and I can really look at the candlesticks and I can get a nice bigger picture chart of what's going on. Order book and level two will show up down here. If you are subscribed to Robinhood Gold, um, I believe you'll get more information for this. And this is also when the market's open, you'll get more information there. We have a video covering that, but we've got price, got the moving average, the 50 moving average popped up, 200 moving average popped up, RSI, pop the RSI up on there. Give us the 100 moving average, give us the VWAP, the volume weighted average price. Boom, there's now a bunch of indicators on our screen, which is really cool and as we, as we hover, It'll give me open, close, high, low of each candlestick, and it will tell me the change on that day, the volume, and what the, the moving averages prices were as well, and all the indicators. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So go to indicators, add indicators. I can add an exponential moving average. I can add Bollinger Bands. I can also add the MACD as uh, things I have not added already to my platform, but you have access to these things. Use them if you want them, because people don't realize this is on, this is actually, something that you can do on Robinhood, okay? Top right where it says trade, you can quickly open an order order entry and you can trade and buy or sell from this advanced chart page as well. So kind of cool. So same exact thing that you could do on this page, but just on the advanced chart, which is nice. Okay, so back to our main investing page. Like that was that, that's what we just covered. If I go to the rewards tab right here, it's going to show me it's gonna give me my referral link, okay? And it will essentially show me, you know, how this works. I can get between $5 and $200 in stock if I refer people to the platform. That's what that page is. And then it allows you to pick slices or pieces of, of shares um, and all that stuff. So if you are, haven't signed up already, or if you're referring friends, like they'll get free stock when they join, uh, which is kind of cool. That's that. Okay, so we're there. We got we covered investing. Now we'll go over to spending. What's this? So check this out. We now have cash plus margins. So now we're at a place on Robinhood where I can potentially pull this money out of my account. So if I pull this up right here, this cash plus margin is withdrawable cash. You saw before that this account is on margin. Yes, but because of the available margin that I've got, I've only used this much I now have a, the ability to withdraw 1200 bucks if I want to out of my account. Now it's going to drastically lower the amount of buying power and it's going to lower the amount of margin available, but I could do that. So you can technically go on margin and then use or withdraw margin. So you can remain fully invested and withdraw margin from Robinhood to pay for stuff or to pull some money out if you need it. So it's, it's something that they have available. Okay. So there's also the outstanding interest. This is what I will still need to pay. And then I've got $104 in orders. So they'll subtract these numbers from my margin available as well as the margin used. And then they'll come up with this withdrawable cash number. Okay, that's what that means. Got some history as to my recent buys and sells, all that great stuff, pretty straightforward. If I wanna transfer money, I will do that here. I can do that here on the spending section of Robinhood. So transfer money, we've got transfer, transfer accounts, direct deposits, and pay by check. You've got four options here the majority of people are probably going to go ahead and say, hey, I wanna pull out, I'm, let's just, I'm gonna do it right now. 50 bucks, so I'm gonna select 50 bucks, I'm gonna choose my Robinhood account, so I have brokerage selected, I'm gonna then pull it out to my bank account, review transfer, and now it takes like up to five days, transfer 50 bucks. So once this passes through, it asks me to go into my Authenticator app and do that, and now I'll give it a second, boom, withdrawal submitted, continue, and now my, cash plus margin here, just dropped by 50 bucks. So now I got 50 bucks, I just paid myself. So like if you, if you make money in the account or you wanna pay yourself consistently, that's one, one thing you can do, go ahead and do. 
So kind of a cool feature or not cool. It's just kind of another feature that you, know, you should be aware of um, when using Robinhood. Okay. So there we go. Um, there's also an option to make instant transfers by linking an external debit card. I can go ahead and do that. That's an option as well. Uh, and then they have, we've got a video covering some of the new features of the cash card and spending account. Um, that's something that's also kind of being rolled out here as we speak uh, on Robinhood. So kind of walking you through, you know, the features and what you've got access to here. So we covered spending. Let's go to retirement. We actually have a video on this. This is the IRA. I create a Roth IRA. There's a detailed video going over this, but this is a ret retirement section. You can have a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. Um, you can transfer accounts in. The cool thing is that they actually are going to match 1% on your contributions. So if I was to max out my Roth IRA contributions on Robinhood, then that would be $6,500, right? But Robinhood's going to match that by 1%, which is kind of cool. So it's an extra 65 bucks that I'm going to have potentially tossed or not. I'm not potentially, I'm going to get on top of my investments So you can, it's not going to go over the, the max um, amount that you've with you've deposited for Roth IRA. No, it's going to be Robin Hood's kind of like, thanks for using us kind of, uh, you know, thank you gift uh, in a sense. So it'll tell you what they're going to match you and your contribution if you go ahead and do that but they will instantly match your contributions. Kind of cool. And uh, maybe it's useful if you like Robinhood to uh, check them out and to use them as your Roth IRA. So that's retirement. Notifications, support, check this out. There's actually something here. I had a problem with my app one day. So this seems to be new, um, I want to say, but it was actually like, if I go back in time, I want to just share this so that you can see the time frames. So I come out with a question to them, okay? At 9.47 a.m. on March 13th, right? They respond, um, let's see. Yeah, they had, it was too complex for the chat bot. So 47, so about 13 minutes later, they respond. Okay, Michaela. So it was pretty cool because it didn't take very, very long. And within like 15 minutes, you know, 20 minutes, I had this figured out. So, I, you know, it's a feature that I think people kind of were concerned about when it comes to customer service from Robin and other platforms out there as well. But it's kind of cool that they have a support chat feature now. So that's available to you. I'm going to end this chat because it's you know long done. Um, and the question was answered. But you can go ahead and, and uh, do this. So go click on get support and it say something else because I had an issue before. And they'll walk you through the process. You know, what's the problem? Your brokerage, crypto spending, like what's the problem? And they'll walk you through exactly what you need to do to resolve it if they can help resolve it. So kind of cool. Okay, back to notifications. There's that. And it will give you all, all notifications that you have, you know, withdrawals, uh, option notifications, positions, and all that stuff. Now to the account section. This is where we got some more information. So uh, we're going to kind of go one by one down this list and cover what you need to know here. So profile. So here's my profile. You can see me and uh, because of my account balance, my total investing value is this much. I have holdings of $16,000 because I am on about $6,000 of margin as of right now, as we talked about. And then let's see, let's see, scroll on down, no retirement funds. That's that. So there's the transfer option, which we had back here on the spending section. It's kind of very, very similar. There's the option to transfer money and all that great stuff. Back to the account investing. This is going to be kind of a detailed view of our investing tab right here. So this, this, this thing right here tells me that I have Robinhood Gold, this little symbol. I pay for that, Robinhood Gold. Um, you can see some more insight into my positions with my equity and then what I'm using on margin. So 61% of my equity, 38% margin. Now, okay, some of you, again, just want to mention this too, are like, oh my God, this person's using 40% margin. Um the way I, re I use that, like I said, is I have a decent amount in a very high monthly paying dividend position. Uh, I also sell covered calls, but my positions are actually, we've got hedges and there's actually reasons why I'm in certain positions. And so I kind of have done the math myself and said, okay, well, the risk reward here for, let's say I wanted to use this position as a hedge for uh, six months or for three months, the amount that I would pay in margin interest versus what it could potentially return me and the protection of downside I would have in the portfolio, it actually makes more sense to have the position. So that's why I use the margin. So it's not like, oh my God, I'm max long on everything. No, 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 I'm actually, you know, I'm actually got some put positions on there. I've got some other positions that 
do well when stocks don't or could do well when stocks don't. So there's like a lot of things that you kind of can do. And you can also buy, right, inverse ETFs as well. And you can go in and utilize your margin to hedge you. That's one way to do it. So it's all different strategies, not to, to dive too, too deep into that, but something to talk about. So then it dives deeper, deeper into my stocks, my cryptos. Again, I've got like apparently like three hundredths of a cent or something like that of Ethereum. I don't know why I can't sell it all, but apparently it didn't sell all of it. So it doesn't mean where I've got, you know, what positions are the largest ones and how much I got in them and all that great stuff, which is kind of cool. Crypto section right here. Um, we've not got much to talk about in this guy. Um, some Bitcoin that I sent, you know, a while back last year, or, you know, so this is the crypto section. They'll give you some more information on crypto. We've got other videos, I believe as well on the playlist that cover some of that stuff. Transfers. If I've got, if I want more information, I have my bank account linked here. I've got transfer money in accounts, direct deposit, pay by check. So I can start a transfer there. Uh, and then we'll have the pending transfers down below, which is the withdrawal that I just had. I can add new bank accounts as well and unlink my account if I would like to as well. Recurring. So this is the recurring section. So I only have one recurring investment, but if I had multiple recurring investments, it would be stated here. So I got that 50 bucks a month that I just buy of JEPI. The reason why I like to do that is because essentially it's just under a share, but as of, at least it was below 50 bucks. Now it's, now it's back above. So I can set this to like 55 now if I wanted to. And essentially what it does is it buys a share of that every month. So at a minimum, every single month I'm buying a share, then the dividend payment that I'm getting is getting auto reinvested back in. And that dividend that I auto reinvest back in is actually about a share as well. So I'm essentially getting two shares a month, which is slowly kind of compounding that ball and rolling that snowball up to be a larger dividend every month, slowly but surely. And so when I have extra funds, that's where I put the funds stock lending program. I have this turned on. I've actually made a total of 30 cents, which is crazy. Um, but I don't really have any stocks on loan as of right now. But if you do have stocks that Robinhood can lend out, this is where you'll see the, uh, the income from it. Margin investing. So we kind of covered some of that, but here's some more stats and settings. Here's how you would get to that spot. So margin investing, I have that enabled. Spending is enabled, which means I can essentially pull money and spend money for my Robinhood account. That is margin. So if I'm fully invested with my you know nine thousand eight hundred dollars that I have in here, but I want to pull money out and I gotta pay you know for a doctor appointment, for example, I can use margin to pay for that. So that's one thing you can do. Of course, you're using margin, you're paying interest on that, but it's an option. Borrowing limit. Here's another place to turn that on. And then usage. So you have all this stuff and then billing. So here's where things get interesting, right? So we have billing with Robinhood Gold. So I have Robinhood Gold, which I do pay for about five bucks a month. Here's the monthly fee. So it you know, has that there. My next billing date, the 26th of April, my yearly interest rate is, I was correct, it is 7.5%. I have not paid $14.38 in interest. Okay, that's going to be the next billing cycle. So you can kind of see that. The dollar amount is not that much, in my opinion, in uh, dividends and a couple covered calls, not not even literally like one covered call a month on a certain position will will pay for the the interest. So it's why I, I don't really worry too, too much, you know, about that. If I wasn't on Robinhood Gold and I was paying a higher interest rate and I didn't have a thousand dollars of margin for free, which is what they give you, then this is maybe a little more expensive, but it's not that expensive, which is why I, uh, I don't mind. Robinhood Gold, the next selection. So I'm a member since 2021. I've been actually been a member for a long time, an OG, I guess you can call it. Um, so what they do is on uninvested cash, let's say I was not on any margin and I was like, you know what? I don't like the market. I want to get out of everything. I don't like anything right now. I'm selling everything. Okay. I'm going to earn 4.4% on that cash that's just sitting there. Kind of cool. Okay. I don't believe you're going to get the same number if you are not a Robinhood Gold member. So there's some perks to that. Get five thousand dollars instant deposits, seven point five percent margin interest rate. So it kind of gives me kind of a a show right there of what I'm paying and why and wherever. I get Morningstar research reports if I want it, level two data if I want it, and uh, yeah. So this is kind of more information as to that. I cancel if I want to cancel right here, but that's the deal. Um, reports and statements. So I'll give you some more information here. I can download my monthly statements from my broker from Robinhood, which is kind of cool. Retirement and crypto options as well. The tax center place to get your tax documents. You can get your $15 off TurboTax too, if you wanted to. Um, this came out a few months ago and uh, the 1099s. And now uh, if you need to download it for tax purposes, which I highly recommend you do because you need to report these things, 
then you'd go over here and you would download these transactions and your 1099 consolidated form. History is kind of what I've done in this account. So withdraws, buys, all these different things. There's also the settings option right here. We've got personal information that I will cover up because I don't think that you need to see that stuff, but you can go ahead and edit your personal information, your address, your email, your phone number, and everything like that. So there's all this stuff, security, privacy, other aspects to, to see here. App appearance, uh, I'll mention this quick. So I have it set to dark mode, but I can turn different things on. I can have it set to market hours. I can have it set to light mode. Oh my goodness, my eyes are about to burn. So I'm gonna go back to dark mode. It's just a customization thing if you know it comes down to personal preference. I like dark mode. And there's the help section, help center, contact them, contact them 24 seven support, my history of my support chat. So if I forgot what the answer was to a question that I had, boom, I can go back and look at it. And um, just like that guys, that right there is essentially wall to wall, everything inside of Robita. Now we have, again, like I said, some other videos diving deeper. If you have any questions, leave them down below because I'd be happy to make those videos uh, in the future to dive into specific aspects, maybe into more depth if they need to be uh, talked about further, or there's more kind of nuances inside of a selection or a section of Robita. So that's that. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys got something out of the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.